Robert Lyon, what up? What's up, man? This is awesome. How you doing? I'm doing so good. Good. All right, man. I got uh, two pretty simple, kind of basic questions. Um, okay. Number one, we're talking to a lot of sellers, um, <clears throat> always pitching basically <laughs> cash offers, and then, like, are they willing to accept an offer on terms? But I don't really necessarily know what to do. Like, do I squat up with one of your students? What contract do I get them to sign? Is it the purchase agreement if they do want to do terms? What like what what would be the next step once they agree? Yeah, we could do terms because I got the pitch pretty down. But what city are you in? I'm in Arizona. Why the hell are you not using my team to close your seller finance deals? I will. Well, yeah, what we do virtual though. We're all over the place. We're closing in Alabama, Louisiana. Oh God. Uh, okay. Then you need to. Uh -huh. You need to link in with students in those areas. I've got, I, I could tell you right now, I've got massive amounts of like students in every state that are strong, that can help you and be support. So okay. like who right now, what's a state you would choose? Louisiana is where we're blowing up this week. Um, Love it. And you're, yeah. are you doing PPC? No. Cold call, text messaging, um, Facebook, Craigslist, everything. Interesting. Yeah. We have um, a lot. What I would do is I would probably reach out to Kelly Hanno, um, my media manager, and have her connect you with people, students that you need. Or, uh, but that's what I would do. I would have the students do it. Now, the thing is, like, I don't suggest you use a regular purchase contract. Yeah. Um, I all I don't. It's the one thing I don't give away are my creative finance documents. And part of that is I'm trying to force the non-students like yourself to go work with my students so you can gain access to the paperwork. I'd love and that. so I would prefer you to just work with my students. I want to give them value for, you know, everything. I mean, they are my community and they provide so much value to so many people. I want to make sure that you are forced to work with them. <laughs> Got you. Know you. So yeah, I would, so I would work out with sub two students. The good thing is like you have 2,600 students nationwide that you can work with. And a lot of them are newer, like even Sean Bolden, who's great. He's newer five, five weeks, but he has access to the entire student base at like such a high level that you can get a deal done so incredibly quick. It's ridiculous. So for me, I would just say, um, anytime you have a seller, it's like, yeah, I'd be, yeah, I'd be interested in that. What you do is then tee up the conversation to say, okay, well, that department is going to have to call you in a couple of days. What's a good day to call you and then get one of the students to make that call. Perfect. And just be and on the like, call with them and ask them, yeah. you know, ask my students, Hey, can I be on the call and listen to what you say? Yeah. And then we'll just close some deals. And then like structuring, if I would just want an assignment fee or if I wanted to stay on is both, both are totally fine. That's what squatting up's all about, right? Is like figuring yeah, out. Yeah, I tell them not to keep you guys on to be on. I, I tell them to not keep each other on. Yeah. Like I tell them don't partner with each other, you know, pay <laughs> each other, buy each other out and don't get involved in each other's businesses. You know, keep that clean. I would just buy each other out. And for you, it's like get an assignment fee, take the, take the fee and then go buy your, the next sub two with that money. So you own it without anybody else. Sweet. People have such the... differing ways of running their own businesses, good, bad, and indifferent. And it's just not a fun thing to hear people go, Hey, I worked with this guy and he wants to now sell the house and I don't want to sell that. I'm like, Oh my gosh, you guys shouldn't have partnered in the first place. Just buy each other out in the very beginning. Yeah. I like stupid, simple. <laughs> business. Yeah, keep it simple. <laughs> keep it simple for the first year of doing creative finance deals, you know? Yeah, and I learn a ton probably from your students if we hop on calls because we're pitching it every conversation, every deal to cash offer or terms, Smart. and we're just building it and going from there. Um, Love it. And pretty cool, man. Well, I appreciate your time, man. It's awesome. And what are Thank the you seven on here. that you're buying houses in? What's that? What are the seven states that you're buying houses in? Uh, like, Arizona, mm -hmm. Vegas, Texas, awesome. Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida. Perfect. Appreciate Every, you, man. Everywhere else sucks. Just <laughs> Those are the places we're in. <laughs> Those are Blowing great. Up but that's about it.